This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for October 28, as we celebrate the Feast of Saint Simon's Day. Saint Simon was one of Jesus' twelve apostles. He is often referred to as Simon the Zealot. Outside of the information found in the Gospels, there is little known for certain about Saint Simon. Tradition holds that Saint Simon died as martyr through crucifixion. You can use this novena to seek intercession from this courageous apostle in your life. The Gospel of Saint Matthew relates that Saint Simon was a relative of Jesus. According to some sources, his mother was a sister of Mary. His father was named Cleopas, and Cleopas was a brother of Saint Joseph. These relationships would mean that he was a cousin of Christ. It is believed that Simon was about eight years older than our Lord. In the Acts of the Apostles, some brethren of Jesus are mentioned as having been present on Pentecost at the reception of the Holy Spirit. Simon was one of these brethren. In the writings of Saint Epiphanius, he writes that Simon rebuked the Jews for cruelly killing Simon's brother, Saint James the Lesser. Saint James the Lesser had been serving as the Bishop of Jerusalem at the time of his martyrdom. So after Saint James the Lesser was martyred, the apostles and disciples met to elect a successor for the role of Jerusalem's bishop. The apostles and disciples elected Simon unanimously to be his brother's successor as bishop of Jerusalem. It is likely that he had already gained a lot of experience that would equip him for this role by assisting his brother in the duties of ruling the church in Jerusalem. In 66 AD, Jewish opposition of Roman rule led to civil war in Palestine. The Christians living in Jerusalem at the time seem to have been warned that the city would soon be destroyed. With Simon leading them, these Christians traveled out of Jerusalem and into a small city called Pella on the other side of the Jordan. After Jerusalem was destroyed, the Christians returned there and lived in the city's ruins. The writings of both the historian Eusebius and Saint Epiphanes relate that the church in Jerusalem grew during this time, since many Jews converted upon seeing miracles that the saints of the early church worked. During the reigns of the Roman emperors Vespasian and Domitian, those of Jewish descent were sought out and killed. Simon somehow escaped being killed under either of these emperors, but the emperor Trajan then ordered the same search. Simon was captured and brought to the Roman governor on the charges of being a Jew and a Christian. Simon was tortured and condemned to death by crucifixion. At the time, Simon was very old. But he faced his torture and death with such courage and strength that even the Roman governor was moved to admire him. Saint Simon is the patron saint of couriers and tanners. You can ask him to pray for you if you work in the leather processing industry, or you can ask him to pray for someone you know who works in the leather processing industry. Saint Simon is also the patron saint of sawyers. You can seek his intercession if you work in the lumber or sawmill industry. You can also seek his intercession on behalf of someone you know who works in the lumber or sawmill industry. Additionally, Saint Simon is a great saint to seek intercession from on behalf of church leaders, since he was a holy bishop of Jerusalem. Oh, <laughs> oh,